excuse this again. I have a hair mask in. It's um, castor oil and batana oil. So that's doing its its thing. We've got a few of our wedding bits arrived today. I need to reorder more because some of some of it didn't arrive. So I'll need to get in touch. But but I thought I'd show you. So excuse the cable. So I got two two packs of these um, napkins. They're like a cloth cloth material. So I got two packs of those. I got two table covers, two table cloths, some cute little miniature pumpkins. I got these to make um, favors. I'm gonna make bracelets for everybody. Um, I got some of this nice ribbon for the napkins. I got some petals. Uh, I, again, I need to order some more of this stuff, but I got some place card holders. And I don't know, we may or may not end up using this, but it's a, yeah, it's just a ring box. So whether or not we use it, I don't know, but it's there anyway. Um, that's what we got. I got some other cool bits of I will show you. I seen these and I was like, hmm, I need lots of these. So I bought three packets of these Lion King nail stickers. Uh, because obviously I would. And these are semi-cured uh, nail strips and they are Halloween. So I'm going to save those for Halloween. I got this Lion King lanyard for my keys because again it's Lion King of course I would. I got these wireless microphones just so when we're out on windy horrible weather um, you'll be able to still hear us talking properly because sometimes the audio can be a bit funny. Um, so yeah I got little fluffy things for them as well, so I got those. I got a gold chain for my necklace, but I realised last night that the actual attachment onto the pearl is silver. So I'm going to have to take it to a jeweller and see if they can change it to gold. If not, I'm going to need to think of something else. This is a wall, a wall sticker, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. <laughs> But it says Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata, it means no worries. Yeah, so I got that. I also got this to try, it's the She Glam Rapid Retouch Cream Concealer. I got it in a darker shade for when I tan. It's to try and cover up some of the tattoos on my legs for the wedding. Not that my dress really shows my legs, but I got these, they stick in the shower and you put your razor on them. These are really expensive on Amazon, so if you go onto Shein, they're like three pounds and like I think I mentioned in the video before um, maybe a year or two ago when you go for your surgeries and just hospital appointments in general anything to, to do with your chest I find these give me back a little bit of dignity and um, because you do feel very vulnerable and exposed in hospitals when it comes to your chest, so I just get packets of these, um, they're like nipple covers, and they come in a big tin, and the tin is full of them, and I just find them to be, um, yeah, I just find them to be a bit of a lifesaver for me, it makes me feel a little bit less exposed, and I've come across lots, oh, it's my watch. I've come across lots of doctors, nurses, things like that, and none of them mind. In fact, a couple of them have said it's a good idea, and you know. So that's what I do, and um, that's my little tip. It's the, the very first time I went to the hospital, and the doctors would just come up and whip up your top or your pajamas, and you just felt just so vulnerable. And it was a bit rubbish, so I got Michael to order me some and I always keep a stash because I'm always in and out of hospital even if it's just for um, ECG or anything your chest has to be exposed so I just stick them on 
and good to go. I feel a little bit better. So there you go. Um, last few things. I got a skirt. I don't know how I feel about the texture. I do have one of these already similar, but they feel different. But it's just um, like a nice autumnal colour. It does have like a little slit at the side. I just find them really nice with a nice comfy oversized jumper and my Doc Martens. This top that I've ordered. So, I don't know if I've said, but me and Michael are booked to go to Horror Con this year. Um, it's, if you've heard of Comic Con, it's like that but it's horror. So there's going to be horror, um, horror novel authors. There's going to be props and things that were used in horrors. Uh, things to buy, people to meet, all that sort of stuff and it's at Eden Court in Inverness. I think the tickets were £15 each and it's a whole day, I think it's from 10am to like 4 or 5pm or something like that. Yeah, so we are so excited to go. Uh, so I bought this to maybe wear with something because I thought it was so cool. It's not a movie or TV show or anything like that but I think it's really cool nonetheless. <laughs> And I just think that the cat's face is so hilarious, like it just makes me laugh. And the quality of this t-shirt is unbelievable, it's so soft. And I got another t-shirt for autumn Halloween. Look at how cool that is. Such a cool t-shirt. Um, again, it's the same material, it's just so coming. Uh, the last thing is I got two pairs of these, they're like mini short type things, they do look a bit longer on, let's see which way they go, um, but yeah they're like mini shorts and I just wear them underneath like skirts, dresses, that sort of stuff, so you get a black pair and you get a white pair and that's what I got, yeah, I need to go and chill, I've had a long day, we got some actually, we got some bits in I'll be more today when we win. We picked up a couple of bits when we were there. Honestly, it's nothing too exciting. It's mostly mostly food, to be honest with you, and cakes. And um, we got like Aldi just now. I was having like an American section, and we found these stacks hot dog and mustard, and um, Pringle sort of dupes. And Michael got Dino famous big hot dog things. And I found this, it's a chicken fajita pot noodle. I am so excited to try it. I also went to Harrogate and I got a carrot cake, so I'm being a little bit bad. I also got this cool cup. How cute is that cup? Me and Michael got new toothbrushes. I got this as well. It is I Heart Revolution Birthday Cake Lip Scrub and Lip Mask. I just thought they looked really cool. Uh, some toothpaste. Oh, uh, where we live, they have given us a new bin. So the council have now given us three bins. A black one, a blue one, and a green one. And they've changed what goes in each as well. So everybody's trying to fumble around and like, well we need to get a new bin for the kitchen because there's now three bins that we have to sort out. Recycle, recyclable, cardboard and paper, recyclable plastic bottles, cans and tins, and non-recyclable household stuff. Like, this is crazy now. Like, I get recycling, but they've changed, they've changed what all the bins do, so it's a little bit stressful, and we need to buy a new kitchen bin so we can, like, put the correct rubbish in the correct place. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, we had to buy some new stickers for the bins with our house number on it. So, my wheat bag split, and we've tried sewing it up, but it just keeps splitting. So, it has gone in the bin, and, like, when I'm just sewing in a small place, it's nice to have a wheat bag, and they're, like, £9 on Amazon. And I found this one. It's a little cat wheat bag. You just stick him in the microwave, it's the Haunted House collection, put him in for 40 seconds in the microwave and he heats up and then you just put him wherever you're sore. 
I just, I, I just loved them. I think it was three ninety nine or something. And I found this. So, Home Bargains has a lot of high smile stuff in just now, and they have this gloss stick, tooth gloss, and you're supposed to like paint it onto your teeth, and they're supposed to look like whiter. So, I'm gonna give this a go and. And see if it's any good. It actually looks like a lip gloss. <laughs> Look at that! I can't believe that. And that's it. So, yeah, I'm gonna go and put all of this away because Michael's walking Toby. I've lost my oxygen, so that's open. Um, yeah, Michael is walking Toby. I'm gonna go put all of this stuff away and rest a little bit. I've been on the go non-stop. I will catch up with you. Good afternoon. It is nearly five o'clock and it's Wednesday. We have just taken Stevie to the vet because she had to get her second vaccine and we had to recheck for her heart murmur. Um, so yeah, they still can't really hear a murmur, but they can't rule it out. Yeah, she's done well with her vaccine. Yeah, so Phoebe got on, uh, Stevie got on fine. Uh, however, Phoebe today was sick. She's eaten a little bit of like a plaster or a bandage or something. So now I have to keep an eye on, you know, make sure there's not things lying about because she, she's clearly gone off and eaten them at random times and being sick. I don't think there's any more to come up because it's been a while now, a couple of hours and she's been fine. Um, she's been playing and stuff. Yeah. So. But I need to go hunting for pet insurance. I need to get, because all our pets are insured bar Stevie because I was waiting for her vaccines to be done so that we can tick that box. <laughs> so yeah, that's my plan to go and look for pet insurance. Anyway, I'm gonna go and finish this and I'll see you later. Hey Siri, take us to Lidl and Forest. Getting directions to Forest Forest. <laughs> no, we don't want to go to Worst Forest. Way to so we've work. just been to Tesco, spent a small fortune, but they had quite a good wee sale on and some nice stuff. And also because they've changed our bins, the council's changed the bins, we've had to get a new bin. So that's a bit crap. And the joys, the joys, the joys. Hey, Siri. Yeah, it's a long here, so. Yeah, at the, at the roundabout, just follow this road, it'll this take you to a roundabout, and it's your second exit. Around? So I go further? Just carry on with the road. Carry the on with the road, yeah, as the road goes, as the road goes, and then it's your <laughs> second exit. That's very good. Not good. Every single right, let's go see what the smile we get a little bit. Like a yeah. Let's go.
a double rainbow. Just come out of Aldi, it's a double rainbow. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. How often do you see a double rainbow? Never. Very cool. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not going to <laughs> <sighs> So, we got everything that we needed. So, we got our plan tonight because we start officially our diets tomorrow and sort of diet and exercise tomorrow. Fully going out with a bang tonight. We've got snacks for a movie night. Um, we're going to go to our favourite chippy. Our favourite chippy, yeah. And go get some food there. I'm not going to go too overboard because I'm really looking forward to our snacks. You'll see me there. We have the worst news in the chippy shop. Michael said it shot at 10, but apparently it's 8. It shot. How sad so is that? Because we were flattering about other places too long. Sad days, dude. I'm going to be on the lookout. <gasps> Stop by the kebab place for me. I'm going to get chips from there. Really? Yes, I'm going to get chips from the dodgy kebab place. I'm going to have food poisoning and it's going to be horrific. <laughs> Not a kebab place. Everyone knows they're pretty cooked six days ago. It's quite nice actually for us, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty bold. It looks very like... I don't know, like if, if we wanted it to, it could look like you were back in the 40s. I am so pissed off at that chippy, Hayley. Inexcusable. We've had to come and get chips and curry sauce from our local town. They suck, but we're really craving them now, so we're gonna get some chips. And then sling in the munchy bites that we bought as soon as we get home so they're cooking as we're eating our chips. Yeah. So that's what we gotta do. So we're Maybe just waiting for our get... chips. What kind of genre are you looking for? Maybe action-y? Hmm. Comedy action-y? Comedy action -y. We'll have to have a browse, but it must be good. Yeah. Ooh, and pajamas. Must get pajamas. Pajam jams. Mm -hmm. We're on our way on the day out. We're meeting up with Granny Mo, Mom, and Annika. We're just gonna go have a wee nosy around. We were supposed to go somewhere else today, but Mum changed her mind, so we're now just going somewhere a little bit closer. And we'll get some lunch. We'll have a browsy around the shops. Um, yeah, so we're just about here. They left up, uh, they left like 10 minutes before us, so they'll already be here. Whether or not they're waiting for us, who knows. Yeah, almost here.
Oh, well, you gotta flip the switch up, dude. I'm scared. Nothing bad happens. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it for the video. Do it for the video. I'm scared. Do it. Mom, give me your finger. Doctor. Mom, push that. Mom. See? She's preparing. Okay. Stay <laughs> the ice. I can't. <laughs> we are back home now and I am exhausted. My oxygen ran out halfway through Aldi. So my gosh, I'm gonna get the chair. And that was fine. And then I just charged it the machine on the way home so it gave me enough to get into the house and wait for my big machine to turn on so made it, it was fine yeah didn't we get a whole lot today we had a good lunch and in Lidl we got, well I got some cinnamon because I made banana banana bread cupcakes last night the recipe said to add cinnamon but I, I ran out of cinnamon I don't have any so got some now I also got carrots and onions to make my soup. I also got a, it's like a paper cutter, it cuts out into the shape of little hearts because I'm going to make some confetti uh, out of leaves because October time obviously the leaves are going to start falling and they, they fall in such beautiful colours so I uh, just recycle some of those and we all had a good day, we're all very full. We did, me and Michael did get a bit of cake to take home, so we've got that tough later. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a nap for half an hour, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But we may have a busy day tomorrow, I will let you know. If we do, I'm so excited for it, and I, yeah, I'll take you along with me, but for now, to that. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, oh. Okay, now next time you better get paid. At your turn, right? You sure you don't want a second shot? You may actually get it. Is there a tactic to it? No. <laughs> Annie, hold my boot. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is there a time? I know it's I keep saying that I'm about to win. I I'm shit myself, I'm mad in there. Did you see the arm on it? Fucking hell. Got medium sized double hook. You're going to stand the toes of the line. And that is the set distance for it spinning in the air. Oh, I'm already in the eyes, so it's nice. Wait, don't throw yet. I'm not going to throw yet. Yeah. Once you've thrown, you obviously wait until the whole body is. I get all the trust that we want to throw. It's my colon too, so it's a different. You look like a psycho when you hold that up. Come on, Michael, if your bag, if your bag can hair is just there. Uh, as I said, hold time, just go for it. Yeah, you throw the same line if you want. I, I, I love how you do back away. It's such confidence. Just in case he flings it behind him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, well done, Michael. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> Even just one. I'll have It's very hard, very important. I'm amazed. I love it. Normally, it takes like the first round. Come on, Haley. I don't think. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Lunge it. That's it. Just throw it, throw it! Oh! <laughs> really oh, oh I'm telling you, the grass skirt. No. That's what she needs. No. No. It's Hawaii. It's <laughs> oh, literally. That's cool. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Oh, that's cool. I guarantee you have a Come on. I want to get one from Hawaii. It's going to be scary. I mean, you could. You could be a werewolf from Hawaii. <laughs> who knows? Oh, Who knows? Who knows? I've got that. Look at the gongs, man. I've got that. Wait, are you not decorating for Halloween literally tomorrow? Yeah. You're decorating for Halloween. Yeah, dude, first of September. It's like tradition. I really like the top and first Yeah, they're cool. Well, they are cute, No, why is there Christmas? We are on our way home now. We had a good day. We stopped and we got some delicious lunch. My, Michael had fish and chips. Grandma had a cob salad with chicken. Annika had macaroni and cheese. And then I had chips, but I also scrounged up with everybody else. <laughs> I was well fed and I'm all bloated now. It was good though, wasn't it? Um, we've just had to we popped through because we had to get Annika stuff. Annika's got a Hawaiian disco today um, with her youth group. So we've had to stop by and get Annika a Hawaiian outfit, which I think we did pretty well. I think we've done a good outfit going. <laughs> Annika's been teaching us, you know, like hip new words. Um, I understand a little bit what I told them. Yeah. Like, what's that? What's that? Yeah, she's like, oh, uh, Michael, you're so not Riz. You have no Riz. You have no Riz. Oh, you're so Omaha. <laughs> you're, you're so Ohio. I don't know. Uh, words like that. 
Sigma. Oh, uh, no media jazz. Sigma. Oh, and Sigma. Sigma. Michael has zero Sigma. Spider Hill was the one. <laughs> so we've done that. Uh, Alec, we're just on our way to drop Alec home. Yeah. On our way to drop Alec home. And she can start getting ready for her disco. This is cutting. You got some nice beds though today, didn't you? Yeah. Show yeah. your rank. Ooh, she got a nice ring. I'm gonna give it to Campbell and I'm gonna tell him what to do. Um, what else did you get? You got a bracelet. I got the sweetie thing. Oh yeah, you got sweeties. Yeah, and then I got um, the... And then I got these. Yeah. So we got a few bits. Uh, oh, and the lay. I got given a, a, like a lay. Some lady yeah. came over and just put one on me. So I've given it to Annika for her Hawaiian um, disco. Okay, like, do not forget your cat. Oh yeah, my cat. It was a cat. Oh, because we stopped and had some to eat. Uh, I have to. I have to nap up my pills really late. Keep everything in a good shot. I done axe throwing today. I oh, done you throw a ball, you smash plates. You were concerned with good one. Uh, that's because like throwing used to be part of sports day. I was very <laughs> good at sports day in school. <laughs> uh, the axe, the, th the real axe throwing was really hard, but I didn't realise that, that there were smaller axes inside. Yeah. The other side. I was like throwing the big huge ones. I got a shot of like javelin and stuff. And uh, yeah, the carves, like people carving the, the wood was really good. We obviously didn't stay till the end because uh, time was getting on. Ugh, and also it goes on really late and there was a lot of like dust coming up. Yeah. And it was going for like my chest. Like um, it's it's been like twenty twenty one degrees today, which is hot in Scotland. Okay, this is hot. Oh, oh my God. <sighs> yeah, we got money cut. Which is a rarity. You're too young sure. to understand. <laughs> yeah, I'm really. Um, and there were so many people out with their dogs. It is way too hot for their dogs. Their dogs were like cooking and panting and Fine. not wanting to move and they're dragging the dogs. And the ones that had muzzles on couldn't sweat and it was like so frustrating. Um, there was one like huge big fluffy dog and your mum just picked up a bowl of water and it was like making the dog drink. <laughs> yeah. And there was a little tiny puppy that I like, was it was up wanting to go to sleep and I like, was so exhausted I and the woman was down. just like dragging it. I know, I was, I was late, I was kneeling down and then the yeah. dog just came crawling up to me and just sat on me. Honestly, some people just do not deserve, ugh, just do not deserve animals. And does anybody else remember the time when Pop, the, when Candy Floss used to come in one big thing? Yeah. It's coming. Tons of little clumps now. Like it's, it's all separate. Like it's four clumps. Almost looks like two lumps. Look, healthy pink lumps. Now why do they look like pillows? <laughs> anyway, that's us just about here to drop Annika off. So we shall go. Now it's a bye. Hello. So it has been a couple of days since. I have managed to vlog anything. Um, we went to the carve on Saturday and it was good fun, it was a lovely day, it was, it was really nice. And then Saturday evening I got so unwell, I couldn't sleep, my heart was fluttering really bad. I was getting a lot of pains in my chest, my arm was going numb, it just felt really awful. So I had a really rubbish night, uh, I slept most of Sunday to be honest, I slept the majority of the day and then when I did 
managed to get up. Michael sort of made me a nest on the sofa and we just sat and watched Game of Thrones. Um, and then Sunday evening I managed to sleep a little bit better but I was still quite sore. And then Monday I went to, well Michael phoned up first thing in the morning and managed to get me an appointment with the doctor who is actually pretty good. So that was good to have it went in. So basically this one of my serolimus levels came back they lost the blood to the other one so who knows where they've gone <laughs> uh, but one of them came back and it's still in the okay range so from what I could understand it's gone up the levels in my blood but it's still within an acceptable treatment range but they haven't done a blood since I finished the course and I don't think they're gonna set one up either so I don't really know uh, I don't really know what to take from that but we don't know whether there's the beginning of a chest infection or it could be that there's a urine infection going on so I have to give a urine and a sputum sample just because I've been getting terrible pains in my side here for of my right kidney so a lot of flank pain and it's also very tender to touch all over my chest even my collarbone hurts it all hurts so yeah we don't know what's going on and I don't want to take any more preemptive antibiotics so I said I don't want to take any without knowing what infections going on if any it could just be that I'm like extremely run down I could have done too much the fluconazole might have just wiped me out and who knows I didn't want to take any preemptive antibiotics because they, t doing that has what's had all this effect. So, um, yeah, there's that, and we also don't even think the fluconazole has worked. So I told the doctor my mouth doesn't feel any different; still feels the same, still getting red, white blotches. My my tongue still feels horrible. So. We don't think that the low dose of treatment fluconazole has worked. So it's going to be a case of being back in touch with my respiratory consultants and seeing what we do next. But the most important thing is getting the um, results back from my urine and sputum. Hopefully Thursday, Friday should hear back and we'll know what to do until then. Uh, the doctor says just stay in, stay warm and just take it easy. But today I feel a little bit better. I still feel extremely drained and rubbish. The thing is I'm coming off of some of my medication as well. So it's just a mixture of the stuff, you know. But that's where we're at. Wedding wise, all of our invites are here now. So we can get those sent away. So that's exciting. It's, it's felt like we've waited so long for these invites. I bought a new pair of trainers for autumn and they're so cool. I will show you them. Actually, I might see if Michael will take them through. Just because I've been so short of breath. I've got these shoes. So they're, I think they're dunks. Uh, yeah, Nike dunk lows. I just think they will be perfect for autumn. I had last night I booked for my nails, my nail appointment. So the we get married on the Thursday and my nail appointment is the Saturday before. <laughs> so my nail appointment is for the Saturday so I'm excited. I've never gone and had my nails done. I think the estimate it'll take two hours. <laughs> I don't know how nails take two hours. I'm scared having to make conversation for two hours. But I think my mum is going to book in to have her eyebrows done. So at least she'll be there for some of the time. I still have to book for my hair. I need mm -hmm. to afford a book for my hair. I think I have an idea, kind of. It, like, the colour. I'm, I'm, like, I still need to ask if she does bridal hair. But the colour. I don't think there's much really to be done with the styling of my hair. It is what it is. She can just tidy it up a little bit. Oh, look at my zucchini. <laughs> She's too big for the hammock, but like she just doesn't care. 
Can you see me fit? How adorable is she with the really long tail? Oh, anyway, that's me. I'm gonna go and chill out for a little while. And yeah. Hello. Welcome to my bathroom. I haven't washed my hair in two days, so it's wonderfully greasy. I need to dye my hair. I want to get it just like a plain brown so that when I go to the hairdressers to have the highlights and stuff in it's just all one even colour. <sighs> so now can I get this on? It's better because then I'll know if it's like kind of the right colour. Old stuff, it's actually like half past one at night but since I haven't been well my body clock has just been everywhere. I usually get Michael to do the I'm surrounded by cats by the way, I don't know if I can safely show you here. <laughs> they like to follow me into the bathroom. I oh, hope this doesn't fry my hair because I've been doing so good at looking after it recently. I have been using batan oil and castor oil trying to regrow some of the hair at the sides because since I've been on the implant and not really allow too much of my natural hormone because of my condition I find I am losing a lot of hair. Anyway, get these gloves on. I have no strategic way in which I do this. I just sort of launch onto my hair and just go with it. Here we go. I hope one bottle is going to be enough. I haven't dyed my hair in so long. Oh, it stinks. Am I allowed to do this with my lung condition? Probably not. for 20 minutes half an hour so I'll see you in 20 minutes half an hour so it's been 30 minutes it's looking really coppery I'm gonna get in the shower we're gonna wash it out and see how this goes on first impressions it's turned my hair a bit ginger <laughs> Which I didn't think a brown hair dye would do. But I'm gonna give it a quick dry and see. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. And if not, I'm gonna have to get a, maybe a different brand and a bit of a darker brown. Let's see. We'll give it a blow dry and see what happens. We'll probably be able to see it a little bit better in the natural light, but there is a lot of like red to it and none of the sort of photos I had in mind for my hair for the wedding had copperiness to it. So I don't know, maybe we'll stick with it for September and maybe the beginning of October. I will change it. I don't know. We're gonna have to see. I'm gonna go and show Michael and then get to bed. <laughs> Hello. So I'm gonna end this week's vlog here. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a fun couple of days. Uh, you know, my hair, I will show you obviously proper and natural, in natural sort of light, but it is very coppery. It does get darker as it goes down, but don't know, I'll keep it for a little while. But yeah, that is that is this week's vlog. Yeah, I will see you all next week. Bye.